Hey, this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. A little while back, you seen me shopping, and I was in Harbor Freight shopping, all right, and I showed you a whole bunch of stuff in there. We ran across the knife just exactly like this, and that's where it came from, was Harbor Freight. So what I said while I was in Harbor Freight is, hey, I've got one of those that I bought from Harbor Freight, so I'm gonna buy that knife, and I'm gonna take it home and sharpen it. All right, this is a knife that I actually had. I've had it for a little while. I'll hold still. You can see that, yes, it has been used. I've been chopping on some things. I've got the tip a little bit duller than, uh, you know, might should have. You can see that side also been chopping, uh, you know, whatnot. But I just want to show you, it's on my table, and most anything that's on my table is pretty sharp. So let's see. Okay, if you can make them cut like that, so people talk about a push, you know, just push it through there like that. So this is how I sharpen that knife. I run it along this way. I've got to work on the tip a little bit more because it's still kind of screwed up. So just like that, come back this way, come back like this, out like that, back like this, out like that. Run right on along. I'm going to work on the, the last three quarters of an inch of it because I, I don't very much. So just like this. And I'm going to press hard enough to cut the metal a little because I never have really actually sharpened the point on this knife. So like that, I'm going to set it down and kind of rip at it. People say, yeah, and that's going to leave big chunks on the table. Well, I'm going to move here in a second. You show me where the big chunks are that came off if you actually believe that it's going to cut big chunks off. All right, you see any? No, you don't, because it's alive when they tell you that it'll just rip chunks off. Now, if I run it through here, I can rip chunks off. Watch this. If I can actually make a knife out of a piece of steel, that's the back of the blade. If I do this, yeah, there's some here, here, and here. So the reason I show you that is because I want you to know I can make a knife out of the back, like a piece of tin or something. That knife is getting to look a little strange. But, as a matter of fact, that's the back of the blade. Don't turn your back on the back of my blade because that damn thing will cut you. That's sharp. All right, so obviously I can make a knife. You've seen my butter knife commercials, all right, my videos where I make a butter knife shave hair literally in a minute and 20 seconds. All right, so yes, I can shave some metal off of the blade. Otherwise, it's just this simple. Don't push very hard. Let it work. Don't make it work. Come back this way, out that way, like that. You guys got a knife, I sharpen all knives free. It's easier for me to sharpen your knife and convince you. Wow, <laughs> that's a buck knife. Check this out. All right, clear out there. Go in there and catch, make it cut like that. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one. I love these because it's hard steel. All right, so let's check and see what we got for sharp. Oop, wait a minute, it tore. <laughs> Okay, I think that that knife is right on the verge of sharp, not very close. Just like this, I, I set it down so that I can add a little pressure, not a lot, but a little pressure, come right on around like that, then like this. We stop with what I call the hard pressure. Now we polish the cutting edge, don't press too hard, let it work, don't make it work. 10 degree bevel on the blade, light pressure. Two corners, 90 degrees. There's a 90 degree corner, there's a 90 degree corner. Just like that's a 90 degree corner and that's a 90 degree corner. They're basically the same thing. Only this is about five times harder than that. So let's see what we got now. Let's make it just a little sharper. I'll demo this one. I carry one of these in my pocket. That fits right in your watch pocket. This one has a bottle opener in the handle. It's got a V-notch for kitchen knives. So if I was going to sharpen this knife, I would just slide it through there gentle, like this. Don't push very hard. Let it work. Don't make it work. Just like that. It's also got a fire starter in the handle. So when I'm out camping, hunting, hiking, fishing, you know, maybe I'm just going to light the barbecue or a weed burner. Anything I can light with sparks, you know, that works really good. So we just go like this. If my little sharpener here is in my pocket, I do turn ups every day and never let my knife get dull. So just like that. Okay, I can feel the wire edge developing, so I'm gonna stop sharpening and touch it really light. 
that little sharpener goes in my pocket every day, everywhere I go. So let's see. I know it's sharp now. If it'll catch at all, that's plenty sharp. If you make a knife, it'll never slide. It takes your fingernail right off. You make them that sharp, that is sharp enough. So any knife, any blade, any configuration, any hardness of blade, any kind of blade, your bigger, thicker, heavier knives like this one, slices like that. That one's $25, these are 10, buy the two together for 30. This is 29 years old, they don't ever wear out. Hold it like this, go from the outside in, and feel how sharp the corners still are. You got one to sharpen? Give me the serrated edge first, because that's the hardest knife for you to sharpen. But it ain't hard for me to sharpen. Okay, that's actually a saw blade, that's not a serrated edge blade. <laughs> I don't sharpen, you can't sharpen any saw blades. That, okay, I thought maybe it would have a serrated edge blade. So let's, let's see. Not. So let's fix that, just like this, like that. Let me look. You've been using a V-knot sharpener on it. I have, yes. Okay, I would encourage you not to, even though I sell them. Uh, they're very, very hard on your knives. If you're going to use the V-notch, please, no more pressure than this. Gentle, easy, don't press hard, a little more patience than pressure. Just like that. That way you don't tear up your knife. So I'm just going to slide it along like this, like that. So let's see if that short time made a big difference on your pocket knife. I use this at work every day. Every, well, then you should have something to sharpen. A you know, like 30 seconds a day would make a huge difference on your knife. That's pretty close. Actually, for a work knife, that's sharp enough. And the reason I say that is, if you make it too thin, it'll never hold an edge. Do you take cards? Uh, cash only. Cash only? Yeah. Okay. I will take a card, but you got to leave it with me for three days. <laughs> <laughs> right. You may never and I promise. <laughs> Where can the people out there get it? They can get it at sharpensbest.com, right here in Denver. It ships, the cameraman is the one who's gonna ship it to you. If you live anywhere in the United States, shipping from Denver is basically the middle of the United States, so two, three days probably. If it ships on Friday, you'll probably have it on Monday. All right? We'll catch you later. This aircraft aluminum, that's a zinc aluminum alloy. That's 60 